You're listening to the Screaming Pods Network. I think if you're if you're in a relationship and you're celebrating this holiday in any capacity, you're making a trip to the to one store or another. You're making a purchase or two. You're you have to gather supplies to commemorate this holiday. It's almost like the last leaves on the trees at the end of the fall while winter is approaching. It's that those few sparks of Christmas spirit just left over from the holidays that everyone just has to get out one last time before the spring arrives. So tonight, to commemorate St. Valentine's with all the flowers and chocolate and all the other bullshit you're picking up today, we want to bring you a mini episode sharing one Redditor's horrifying Valentine's Day experience. When I was eight years old, right around Valentine's Day, I received one of those small manila envelopes in the mail. I had no return address, but it was sent from another state and I didn't really know anybody there. When I opened it, it was a simply folded sheet of computer paper with a picture of Linus, you know, from Charlie Brown, holding a heart in his blanket, and it appeared to be drawn and colored by hand. But on the inside, I found a short Valentine's Day message. Only, this message had a hidden meaning that only I would understand. It included a small personal detail about my life that only someone close to me would know. Naturally, I thought it was probably my grandparents or my mom and dad trying to do something nice for me. Every year, I received one of these cards around Valentine's Day. In every year, it had a picture of Linus and included some detail around some recent event of my life. And it was typed in the same font and it was always from a different state. When I got older, I finally mentioned it to my grandparents, fully expecting it to be them. Only they swore that they weren't sending them. Well, if it wasn't my grandparents, it's probably my mom or my dad, right? No. They had nothing to do with the Valentine's Day cards that I've been receiving all of these years. And the only other family I have in the U.S. are my dad's parents. And they don't speak English well, and they've never owned a computer. And I still get the cards every year. Always the same. Except for one Valentine's Day a few years ago. I received a stuffed teddy bear and a big chocolate heart along with a card. And needless to say, I didn't eat the chocolate, and I searched that fucking bear half to convince that there was a hidden camera. After that year, I just started receiving the cards again. In any case, as a child, it was sort of exciting and mysterious. Kind of like a secret admirer. But now, it's just unnerving. I have racked my brain for years trying to figure out who this could be. And I've come up empty-handed every time. It still makes me feel uneasy. But if this person wanted to hurt me, I think that they would have done it by now. I've never felt outwardly threatened by them, so I don't think there's much I can do about it. The main thing I want to know is why, what's the point, and who? I don't think I'll ever find out. Me personally, I don't I don't think she'll ever find out. It's got to be somebody she knows, though. If they have her address and knows these details about her life, maybe it's maybe it is her parents or her, her sick ass grandparents playing a joke on her. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Take this holiday for what it is. But remember, even Valentine's Day can be scary. You're 
listening to the Screaming Pods Network.